And so, uh, no introduction on that, but still follow me on Twitter, Instagram, AKX. Be sure to write in Odyssey, and of course, as always, um, <clears throat> Rumble, Reddit, just in case the channel gets shut down, DDoS, hacked, or God forbid, Shadow Band by the YouTube algorithm. Anyways, I know I was a little bit late, but it's still two days ago. I really want to react to this. I know it's barely a minute long, but I know I really, really like the Legend of Korra series. I never really got super hugely involved and invested in like the Avatar The Last Airbender series, but really really I did a reaction to this one because I mean next to Legend of Korra chick and Toph she's probably the third coolest ass female badass takes no shit takes no prisoners from anybody chick and then the clips that I've seen this one the Nikos Nickelodeon All Star Brawl 2 Azula Brazil trailer I'm not sure if I'm gonna put this today Saturday or Sunday there's one let's go let's jump in sorry I'm late good palanquin bearers are so hard to come by these days <laughs> there you go. <laughs> oh, I a little electricity Do you fear fire? Because um, you okay. should. <laughs> I will enjoy your suffering. Alright. I'll Ooh. show you lightning. Now, do you understand? I'll show you true power. <laughs> My own mother got lost. She was right, of You can run, but I'll catch you. You should start running. I have defeated you for all time. <laughs> that was awesome. I like that. Don't use an opinion. I know it's a lot shorter compared to the other one. It was like almost two and a half minutes long. Danny Tannum one, either I did today or yesterday, but it's when you guys watched, this might have been yesterday. Mmm, looks freaking badass. Obviously, obviously, you can tell the, the thumbnail, I ain't gonna chance to say it, but <laughs> it's almost hard 34, like, not safe for work, but I had to, like, censor the crap out of it, especially with the jiggly physics. <laughs> and the other thing I can't really say, because it gets a lot of raunchy ass, perverted shit, hentai stuff. Damn, but it was really good. The little background for her, the whole freaking giant stage that they gave her. This blows the freaking lid off the Danny Phantom one that I watched. It was kind of like underwhelming a little bit. It was good. He still had the really cool protection thing device that he had. And then like his like little laughs and grunts were cool. But that was a, his attacks and his defenses and his freaking, his cartwheel attacks and his spins and his death animation scenes were bad, man. Not as good as like D minus, D plus, I love She's a triple plus. Nine can say, oh, she's a female chick, or oh, she could have did better. She could have did this. She could have did this side, that right. I don't care, bro. It's awesome. I love whoever did the voice actress for her. Chef's kiss, phenomenally awesome, amazing. Epic, beautiful, wondrous, spectacular job she did. I'm going to give a round of applause to her. Nah, she did. She knocked it all in the freaking park there. I loved it. And I'm wearing my hat in today since I just finished taking a shower an hour ago. <laughs> I'm wearing the same shirt from last time, but whatever. And one other thing I will say is this. <laughs> Man, I don't know what instrument they were using. I don't know if they were just using a bunch of just PC stuff, whatever, smartphone devices, whatever they're using for the music. That's what they could do nowadays. I don't mean, need physical instruments or physical freaking keyboards or pianos or any of that shit anymore. They could just have it done completely like fake auto-tune shit. I'm glad they don't do that anymore. Sometimes they do. Depends. <laughs> she has like a real, like rules rules the emperor, empire with the iron fist. I remember she was from the Fire Nation or the Blaze Nation, whatever they call it. She kind of reminds me of Blaze the Cat, mixed with another chick that was like in Ruby Cinderfall. She gives me a lot of Cinderfalls and um, Blaze the Cat vibes with this chick Azula. I really really love this chick. Wow, she's awesome, amazingly beautiful. She's freaking. She's the goat, man. Something I rarely ever say either. And that's it. <laughs> I'm done sipping on idolizing words for the Let's get to the two small bits of news. Alright, so it's been a really hot second since I talked about anything Grand Theft Auto GTA 5 or GTA 6 on this channel. So it's Grand Theft Auto Online. Server status from October 4th as of server shut down for maintenance. This happened, I you know, like almost four and a half, five days ago, but this came from Kyle Knight from Dual Shockers. I haven't read from Dual Shockers in a while. Red Dead Redemption 2 will also be brought offline. So anybody who's playing on there, just be prepared for it, even though he probably already did. Rockstar Games has announced the online services of GTA 
uh, Five Online and Red Dead Redemption 2. We'll be taking off online from almost five days ago, not today, as the servers undergo an extended period of maintenance. Uh, I never really played a lot of Red Dead Redemption 1 or Red Dead, like, the zombie version of that. I, just, I never really got big into it. I saw a lot of, like, gameplay of it from Twitch and Kick and all those other places and even a little bit on YouTube. It's just, it never captivated me as much. You know, they have a few references from Grand Theft Auto and, like, what's it called? The Hitman series, too. It's just, it never griped with me. It had a real cool action adventure, you know, firearms blasting everywhere. You get to do PPPs and all that. I can't say it on here. It's fucking YouTube. Assholes. Algorithm. And then gets to go on quests and missions. It just, it felt a lot slower. Not because it was in the ancient times, 1898 or 1899. Just, I don't know what it was. I just never became a hardcore fanboy. Even the other one, the most craziest one I ever did was the most censored game in the world. I think it was called Manhunt 1, Manhunt 2. I never played it, but I probably had nightmares over to play that shit. No, honestly. I guess it's a bad game either. It's a good game. It's just, I don't know. It just never captivated and got me and stuff into it. So this one, this is a little bit more serious. Former Ubisoft executives rested over assault allegations. I can't say that word. So this is Kyle Orton. And that's from Ars Technica, so you know it's legit. So it says five former Ubisoft executives have reportedly been detained and questioning French authorities years after they departed from the company and made widespread EX not safe for work, harmful. And they say, um, Sentai, very pervy allegations. So according to the report from France's Liberation News, I'm not going to read this whole entire thing, it's super long. So translated by GamesIndustry.biz, this week's arrest of the Bobigan, Bobiangan, that's probably like French, I'm not speaking French, sorry guys. <laughs> Public prosecutor offices include Ubisoft, or Ubisoft, some people say it. Former chief creator, Serge Haskiote. Whatever you say it. Next, the VP of editorial included Ubisoft's former, and I already read that, including creative services, Tommy Franchkoskio Haskote, hopefully I'm saying that right, Haskoti, resigned from the company in July of 2020, while Franchkoski, Frankois, I think, left less than a month later, a year after. Those departures, French Labor Union Solidarius, hopefully I'm saying that right, Solidarius, informative, worked with the two alleged victims of a filing a formal complaint about the alleged assaults, which seems to have led to this week's move by the French police. Oh, they had the government involved over there. I don't know how it works. I have no idea how overall thoughts use them in that. I'm not an expert of that. I'm not a lawyer or district attorney. I don't work for the government or any of that mess, but it sounds like a jamble of a mess. Yes, man. So it's crazy. The executive people, so the ones that are millionaires and billionaires, sitting on their yachts and and billion dollar mansions in their fucking ivory towers, fuck the middle order, dumbasses. Ah, oh, man, it's crazy. They got arrested like that. I'm not sure if it was just a stage thing or just another distraction, aversion, a psychological operation to cave the ops oppositions. I don't know. <laughs> I haven't talked about Ubisoft news in like six, eight months. It's been a while since I talked about that. Only thing I can think of is unless somebody had dirt on them. Maybe an ex-girlfriend, or ex-wife, a sister, a brother, a cousin, nephew. Somebody that was one of their enemies from somewhere. Maybe a really bad T-word organization or corporation that had dirt on them. Or a banking person that was a CEO. Maybe they were going to like expose something really, really huge to the WEF or the United Nations or Council of the Ten or Nine. Or um, the change activism fools that run the whole planet. And like I say, like Bilderbergs and all this stuff. Maybe they were going to do a really, really bad pew pew to them. And they're going to unalive them and make them look like the JFK thing. And this is the furthest I'm going to say with that. They were going to like silence, you know, just do something bad to one of them. Maybe that's what they're going to do. And then they got arrested at the last second because they couldn't expose the truth. I don't know. There's a million other freaking scenarios that are playing in my mind about that. But that's it. Tell you guys over down the here. Links down below. That's it. Peace out, ladies and gentlemen. I'm bosom. Damn, bosom. Damn, bosom. Damn, bosom. Damn, bosom. I'll see you when I see you guys there. Good night. We're around the world out there. Stay smart. You're going to share with the news. And the long news. Torture you. Drama news. Kick drama news. Sometimes TikTok drama news and Twitch and all that. Dick Serto. Sports Kid. And of course, once in a while, I'll do Elon Musk news and celebrity gossip news. 
Man, we helped take news. And we're actually going to do segments like this one. Take it easy, peace out, my sorrow. It's a money city. Both sides take it easy, my amount. Stay extra safe on my there. Later. Bye. Talk to you later.